have a couple of friends in our Facebook community. And I was asking people, mm, should I buy this car for review or not? Uh, everybody say, yes, you should. Please make a review for it. And I have uh, bought this beautiful Chevrolet Corvette C6R brilliant series from Mobicard. And I will make a review for it for you guys. I hope you like this review. Uh, now I begin unpacking this box. <laughs> Great night for unpacking these beautiful car boxes. And you can see a beautiful car inside already. Let's take it out. Oh. oh, beauty car. This car have a very beautiful color. I try to. Hello. <laughs> um, they have a screws here. I need to take screwdriver to unscrew them. Nice. Not fast, but it's ready. <laughs> Why not the screw just fell down on the floor? I should find it. Chevrolet Corvette C6R. It's a very good detailed car. Just look on this uh, back tail light. Right second. Nice plastic spoiler. And doors are open here. Just look inside on the frame. It has a sport frame inside. <laughs> but it's funny because uh, if a rail car uh, have a frame like this. Uh, you can never sit uh, down on this car because uh, there are only a s small hole uh, on the window and that's all. It's funny how the door frame, it's not real. And that's a funny thing is that these wheels are not independent. You can see uh, when I rotate one wheel, another one, this, also rotates. They are not independent. Look on the front wheels. They are also on the same sp spin. It's a cheap variation of wheels. It looks like it has rail riders. Yes. But it's uh, this is very 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 hard resin. It's not metal, it's plastic. But I love the style. It's like a spider style. Uh, but I need to say that this wheel, um, this wheel is uh, too much uh, small for this case. Um, it should be uh, much bigger, or maybe something like this, uh, because arc or for wheel is uh, much bigger than this wheel. Uh, they should uh, place here uh, much bigger wheels. In front, uh, it look better, but uh, on the back, uh, they save money and make uh, wheels like in front size. They should uh, do bigger wheels for the back for this car. They just use a paint for them. We can see a plastic grill inside. Some plastic headlamps. They make them good. They are just good. I like them. Not bad at all. It's even better than using uh, paint for the lamps. 
I love when they do a plastic one like this. Like a, le like a rare... Oh, sorry. Like a rail car headlamps. Very good job they have. No. Oh. I can see uh, here is a um, painting mistake for this factory. It's not good at all. You can see model number here. But this is sinky shit. I don't like when factory do something like that. Watch closer. This car cost for me about five bucks. Strange wheels, but this is our uh, real riders. Not bad details at all on the disc. Not bad details on bumpers and uh, backlights. Even number plate is making very good. Uh, they do a good job inside of it, uh, but this f frame is amazing. Nobody can sit in this car with such frame, only if you can open it, but I don't think they, they can open it. It's bad that uh, they don't include the opened hood uh, with detailed uh, engine inside. Uh, the only one driver's sport seat inside and the bad thing they don't um, paint this seat with a red color or something like this like a real sport um, seat looks like <laughs> you can even um, can, uh, can do a tuning for this car you can try to paint by yourself uh, this seat and if you paint interior by yourself this car will look amazing um, this car is good for upgrades uh, if you if you know how how to work how to unscrew this car uh, you can do a beautiful design with a beautiful interior by yourself uh, you can also paint this spoiler and this car, uh, this spoiler also, and this anti wing. And if you paint this part uh, and interior, this car will look uh, great. It uh, will be good for display uh, with your other cars. Ah, 132 size. So, this car is beautiful, very good for display, but only if you can paint the parts for it. Waiting for your comments, guys. Don't forget to press like and subscribe to my channel also. It's not a hot wheel as you like, but it's a beautiful car. For five bucks, it's not a not a very expensive car at all, but it's a big car. For example, I will place near it some hot wheels cars, and you can see it's big. One thirty-two size is a big. This is one sixty-four size. This is one thirty-two size. Uh, not very big as one for 24 size, but it's big, uh, much bigger than usual Hot Wheels size. Overall, this paint is very great. I really like this paint. It's uh, like a pink brilliance paint or something like this. Very beautiful paint. This car is beautiful. And if you see something like this in your shop, maybe cheaper than a five bucks, uh, why not to buy this? 
It's a beautiful addiction to any collection. Especially if you collect one sorty two cars. So after all, I can suggest you to buy this if you find it. This car come in a box like this. It's from Moby, Moby Card made in China. Not bad car at all. So again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press likes, guys. If you like this review or dislike if you dislike it. I hope uh, you will see later more reviews for Hot Wheels on my channel. Maybe unpacking something like this Matchbox or these Hot Wheels cars. <laughs> Here's a Barbie 60 years. Here's a big collection for Camaro. I need to make a review for this uh, big collection. Of, I have a big collection for Ford Mustangs. Uh, very many cars. Also some monster trucks I have. And I need to make a review for all of this. Today we are making reviews for Bridland Series Moby Card. Bye bye, see you later guys. It was a Wheels Hot channel.